Hello everybody and welcome to Every Rock Has a Story. Today's story in today's rock is all about gold, real gold, solid gold, and how to find gold. Not fool's gold, this stuff which we heard about in episode three. Not that, but real gold. And just like the fool's gold story, this story of today's rock takes us back to the year 1849 and we're going to go out to the state of California because that's where the gold rush was happening. And remember, all the minor 49ers rushed out to California to find the gold because they had heard that gold was in California, especially in the streams. People were finding gold nuggets in the streams of California. Now, a lot of those early miners Instead of finding gold, they found that fool's gold. Remember, they got fooled and they were very sad. They thought they had it all figured out. They had a plan to go out there. They found that stuff and they found that they were wrong. Have you ever had a plan all set up and then something changed it? It didn't work. It can be pretty sad and it was sad for those 49ers, but they were clever. They didn't give up and they changed their plan. They came up with a clever new idea to find the real gold. And the plan they came up with was to look in those streams. And they found that even when they knew there was gold in a little stream, it was hard to see because there wasn't that much of it. It would kind of get buried and mixed in with the other sand and minerals that looked about the same color. But they noticed that in a lot of those streams, there was something green this stuff. And this is the rock of the day. Let me bring it a little bit closer. This is a green, mostly green rock. You can see it's green on that side. Now it's mixed in, the green mineral is mixed in with some white mineral here. The white stuff is called quartz. We call it milky quartz because of that white color. But the green mineral in this rock you can see it mixed in all those green parts, especially down there. That's the one I want to tell you about today. Now this green mineral was so green that the miners could see it in the rivers, in the streams. And they said, ah, we might not be able to see the gold, but we can see this green stuff. And that tells us that this is a stream that has gold. Now the name that they gave to this mineral is kind of interesting because it was named after the place where they started finding it. And that place was Mariposa County, California. And so they named that green mineral Mariposite. Mariposite after Mariposa County, California, where they were finding all the gold in the streams. So they knew that they had an indicator of the gold in the form of this green Mariposite. So what they did the plan they came up with after their first plan didn't work, when they found the fool's gold in this plan, they said, we're going to find streams with Mariposite because it's easy to see. And then we're going to follow those streams up the hills, up the mountains to the high Sierra Nevada. And there we will find the source of the gold. And they called that the mother load. And they did, they followed those streams up and they were lucky sometimes and they would find the source, the mother load, the ore of all that gold. And that's where they would dig, dig, dig their tunnels and dig their mines. And inside those mines, this is what they found. This is a chunk of rock, not from a stream in California. This chunk of rock comes from inside the very bottom of a real gold mine in California that I got to go inside. I put on my hard hat, and my jacket, and my boots, and I rode a little trolley train. I really did, down into the bottom of the mine. And the miners let me take this piece of ore home. This rock has mariposite, it has white milky quartz, and this rock has gold. This is real gold ore from a real gold mine that I collected. Now, you can't really see the gold in here. This would have to get all broken up to let us see the gold itself. But I did bring one other surprise, and it's this mineral right here I've been hiding. 
and I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. It's very small. I will show you this. Can you see that right there? I bet you can. Can you tell what that is? Oops, I dropped it. Let me just pick it up with my tweezers. There. That is real gold. That's a real gold nugget from California. And you can see now, that's the real gold. Here's that fool's gold we talked about before. So when you see them together, you can see that they're different colors. This is much more deep, rich yellow. This is more of a pale, almost a silvery yellow color. Now you can see the difference. But that's what a real gold nugget looks like from California in those streams. That's what all the miners were after, that valuable gold. And so, that is the story of this rock. It's a story of the miners changing their plans. They thought they had it all figured out, but then they found that fool's gold. And even though they were sad, they made a new plan. They said, I'm not gonna let that mistake stop me. And they were clever, and they found the Mariposite, and they followed it upstream until they found the yellow gold. That's the story today. A story of Mariposite, a story of gold, and a story of what you can do if your first plan doesn't quite work out, and how you can use your smarts to come up with a better plan to solve the problem, and maybe find something as exciting as real gold. That's the story for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.